Hi, I'm Ginger Ninja Trickster, and today I've got a very special guest. I've got Master Wong with me. Hi, everyone. And I'm going to ask him a very interesting question that I guess quite, quite a, a bit. Um, what's the difference between self-defense and street fighting? Okay, now, as you know, I, I saw you a lot of your stuff, man. I just love your stuff, you know. I, that's where I <laughs> ping your stuff, your stuff on my channel to a kicking, you know, and stuff. That's where we ask a lot of questions. Now, self-defense and street fight is very different. The self-defense is push, pull, grab. Like basic, like verbal, basic stuff, self-defense. Street fight, sometimes you come across, you go to the back alley, somebody gonna come up with a knife, mm -hmm. somebody with a gun, so it's weapon base. Uh, somebody coming in try to do a lot of damage to you. They want to really hurt you. It's a, it's a very different kind of mindset, street fight mindset. It's, it's just really want to do some damage to you. Yeah. But in a self-defense point of view, a lot of time, they don't really dare to kill you, you know? They're not, the attention is not there to kill you. Yes, the attention is the control environment a little bit to push you, grab you, just, just like not, uh, it can't be escalated to very high, okay? But don't, they're not like that kind of escalate that high, you know? Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're normally to the basic self-defense in a safety environment. They're not looking for kill. But in the street, they're looking for muck you, stop you, you know, shoot you, all that kind of thing. Extra like, aggression there. Very aggressive, the force very different. It. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So the difference is on the training of it, uh, the mindset is very different. In self-defense, for instance, um, uh, so what move you want to ask on self-defense? I'll show you some so you can get an idea. Yeah, this is what we were talking about, like the, the scenarios with okay. the self-defense. If there's more kind of malice behind it, you mean. Right, so the self-defense. Okay. So obviously we, we talk about scenarios, if it's more self-defense, obviously right. if I'm going to approach you and I'm so going to be kind of like okay. a nice so that, little push. That's basically like somebody been drinking yeah. and said, yeah, oh yeah, man, let's just do a push. Push. Okay, push. so in me, for instance, if you're doing a push, yes. my hand will be in line. In position like this, yep. then I will be attacking once, okay, like onto the body here, or I come into this line here and then I drop to the neck, but I still control you. That's yep. like self defense basic. But the moment if you're pushing, I can go boom here and I can straight down, see, mm. and then I can be boom. Yeah, you mm. understand? Yep. So the idea of this self defense, you got to understand nowadays, is a lot to do with camera. The camera everywhere, mm -hmm. okay? Now if you push me, mm -hmm. and I go like this, and I go boom here, boom here, boom here, yeah, boom yeah. here, now you can see that I do a lot of damage to you, okay? Because the camera looking this way, there will be a big problem for me, yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you're pushing, I come in here, it's an accidentally, accidentally coming in. It's a very short and yeah, accidentally short quick and effective. Quick and uh, effective, because the moment when you're pushing, mm -hmm. okay, bam, boom, you see? It's that, it. that day, I just stand up, it's an accident happening. And then boom, so the elbow will come in here. If you grab hold me, yep. see my elbow will be in line. When you're grabbing, grab me, so it's difficult for yeah, you yeah. to clap me. Yeah? And then straight away I will be into a going and I still grab hold of your arm here and then easier for me to see if you got any weapon, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the basic self-defense movement. Uh maybe get into the push, grabbing like that. Mm -hmm. So then how would that translate more to the street fight? Would you... Okay, now knife? the street fight is different. You might push me, yep. and then you might pull a knife. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah. So now the mindset is very different now, didn't it? Because you might pushing me out of the way, yep. and then clear and pull the knife and stab me now. Yeah, so yeah. you don't want to kill me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now if, for instance, you it's push more me, intense that's the intention, try to hurt me, try to really, mm -hmm. try to really... Or the push might even just be more... Malicious as That's well. it. Like very aggressive. Yeah, very that, yeah. aggressive. Okay. So I would understand in a mindset. I know this is a problem. Mm -hmm. I will send this problem. So when you push coming in, yep. you'll boom here. I will grab over here straight away. So that way you cannot try to grab your knife. Yep. I will see me any weapon in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now from here, for me, I just slap your arm by. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I will uh -huh. break in like this straight away. Okay. And then if I any weapon, and I will slam you by. Boom! I will slam you right down here, and then I will see any weapon here while I'm control you. Okay, that might be the the, the self defense uh, in uh, for the street. I want breaking limb. Yeah, yeah. Because if I breaking your arm, you won't grab any weapon. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Do you understand? So the basic again, when you push, I hear, I do the same, but I, because you want to push, if I do this one. Okay, and then you go jaw and grab your knife. Now yeah, I have to retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I a big loop. Yeah, it's yeah. a loop. So you push, and then I control and be here. So this side, why I'm here? Because your hand is here. I said no weapon here. If you got something here, I will know something here. Yeah, I put your arm. Then see the arm. Yeah, I control. Then if you got anything here, I grab hold of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I release, I basically control your arm here. Yep. So that arm cannot retreat while I'm breaking. Without break that, okay, you won't be able to grab the weapon. Yeah? yeah, and then from there I got a knife. I can do what I want with you. Okay, yeah. 
but into the street fight side, I will hurt, uh, I will attack more aggressively as well. So there's intent from them, and there's more intent yes. from you. Yes, as well. because they're aggressive, they're very aggressive for me. So if you do that again, yep. I will go here, I right here, okay? I move, grab a knife, I control, and I might shove that into your throat right now. And yeah, I put yeah. like this to make sure that you're not gonna try to do something. Maybe you wanna shove the, maybe. Maybe I want to really do some damage to you too because I don't know what your intention is. You, yeah, I've tried to kill you. Yeah, you, with a you knife see? Anyway, so it might be I I select the weapon here. I maybe shove that into your throat. I might be not gonna kill you, but I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if there's anything, I will cut. I will break the arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that arm here. That's why we hold a lot of this because it's straight. I just slap. Boom. Yeah, boom. That will break. Okay. Then I cut the tender. I shove it in here. If many things we're gonna do, very simple movement onto the street. So the basic of it, that's the mindset. Yeah. The mindset it's and the, the mindset, tension. Intent and maliciousness. Yeah. So what you would say, if you train self-defense in a in a more of aggressive manner, then you're preparing more for the street fight scenario. Very true. And, that's and right. That's yeah, right. but again, if you train too much into the self-defense mindset that somebody just puts you low yeah. like this and boom, grab the knife, boom, boom, grab yeah, yeah, yeah. it's become now you don't understanding what yeah. is your intention is. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your wife just push you like this and you boom boom straight to the eye. Yeah, yeah. Boom here and then you heal ready. It's literally you you lie straight to the eye, boom to here, and then you heal ready. It's like your wife just push you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now she you're dead. You just shut both hands into the eye because you your attention it didn't want to kill me, did you? No, no. You just go, hey, you like, or maybe you go to the pub and then you just push yeah, your hand onto me like yeah. like like that. Yeah. And I already yeah, have I the engine yeah, to yeah. straight to my yes, so the mindset is very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you have to be able to identify between both to separate them. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, you know from the malicious intent, yes, the aggression right. of the push. That's right. On the person. Yeah, I remember, like in school, I, one of my mates grabbed my shoulder and I accidentally elbowed him because of the, the natural kind of instinct. The training. You, you're training. Yeah. And also, it was aggressive, so it felt like someone was. That's, that's right. So, if, for instance, for example, for example, if you yeah. grab my shoulder, yeah. I, I'm not sure. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. So, because of see what that? Bam! It's like it's like. Oh, sorry. It's my mate. It's like <laughs> it's literally yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if I if you grab me, I will I will be like this. For when I try to teach people, I always have here. Mm -hmm. Intention is here. If you move, I already, I already, yeah. Okay, if you try to swing, yep. I already here and my hand is already in line here. My hand going here or my body already in the position, my body in line. Yep. So I already prepare. It's like you go into the uh, fighting, uh, shooting of uh, army, but you loaded gun, but not shoot yet. You yeah, know, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. ready, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you're not shoot yet because you don't know fan or foe. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's uh, important. Okay, yeah, so separating the two, make, making sure you, you separate the intent. Training scenarios that are more realistic for the street fight enhances the self-defense so they end up intertwining them. That's right. And that's what we're, we're, we're trying to get on. Okay, so that pretty much wraps us up. Is there anything else you want to add to that? Or? I think it's, it's a very, uh, basically, just need to think properly. And again, not all self-defense e created equal. We talk about over and over again. Some self-defense school is very good. And self-defense, some of them is not. So you have to got to see yourself which one is good. And then you have your mind. Yeah, yeah. Take what you think is useful and what yeah. works for you. It's, the, it's the, the best way. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Master Wong. No problem. It's been great. Thanks for all the information. Make sure you go check him out and subscribe. Thank you all for your support. Team GNT, peace. Matsu Wong here, out! <laughs>